A lot of you called me an idiot for not running fiber. Here's why you're wrong. I recently installed a wireless bridge instead of fiber for my buddy's Airbnb in Los Angeles, and everyone flipped out in the comments asking me why. Hardwiring fiber sounds like a great idea, until you see that concrete walkway. Getting fiber to the back house would be an over 200 foot fiber run, and then you've got a three foot concrete walkway that you have to trench under. So imagine having to first call 811 and then wait for them to come out and mark all the utilities. Then you've got to dig holes on each side of that concrete walkway and trench underneath with a horizontal boring machine or auger. Then you gotta run conduit, you gotta pull the fiber through, and then you gotta clean everything up when you're done. We're talking days of digging, rental costs of expensive equipment, and then hopefully you don't hit a gas line. Does that sound like fun to you? Yeah, I didn't think so. And on top of that, every day the network's down, they're losing Airbnb revenue. Wireless versus fiber, the equipment costs are about the same either way. But if we add in days of labor and equipment rentals for the fiber, Wireless wins by a mile. After the install, we were getting 300 megabits solid all throughout the property and in the Airbnb, and my buddy was over the moon about the improvement. Slapping a couple of antennas on the walls was cheaper and way less work than digging a 200 foot trench and then boring a hole under a concrete walkway. Once it's dialed in properly, a wireless bridge can be just as reliable as hard wiring, which is why fiber was not the right answer in this deployment. The wireless bridge took hours to install instead of days. It was cheaper overall and it was just as reliable. If you disagree with me on this, feel free to argue about it in the comments, but you're still wrong.